Leo Nation, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to your May love reading. All right, so Leo Nation, I'm just going to be slightly different from my other readings that I've done for you guys in that I'm dividing it into two. The first half is going to be for singles. This is persons, they don't have a crush, they don't have a love interest. Um, there's nothing like that happening in their life, but they do want love to come in. So we're going to have a look at what's coming in in love um, in May. So it could be messages about getting yourself in alignment um, for love. Or it could be that there's actually somebody coming towards them in love. And then we have couples. That's if you have a love interest. You're in a situation ship. You're in a marriage. Um, you're separated. You have a crush. Once you have a love interest, somebody that you can watch this video for. That the second part is for you, okay? Or if you feel inspired, you just watch the whole bloody thing. <laughs> All right, so let's go first with our singles, and this is going to be a shortened version of um, my "What's Coming in Love" reading, which is a, one of the readings that I offer. So I'm just going to do a shortened version of it today. Okay, what's coming in love for my lovely Leos, my royal Leos? Shout out to my friend on race is one of my subscribers she's a leo it's my little pally wally my majestic leos and is there something i think a lion is my spirit animal honestly even the way i wear my hair i wear it like that because i want to look like a lion I don't know, I've always felt that. Anyway. I have Leo in my chart, don't I? Yeah, I think I do. I can't remember where right now. <laughs> yeah, but I have Leo in my chart. It's one of my house placements, I think. Well, my chart is myth, um, mostly Earth energy. Taurus Virgo. Graphic one. As grounded as they come, buddy. Let's get another card. I'm taking three cards. Okay, lovely. So that was the romance angels. Let's see what they have to say. What do they want to tell you in love? Okay. So there is somebody coming in for you that you're going to have a fabulous time with. But before they come in, it's telling you release your ex <laughs> it, it's telling you to clear your energy whatever past hurts past heartache disappointments you've had in love whatever it is it's asking you to release that energy to allow this person to come in because when you hold on to this kind of energy it acts like a block it's a, it's a wall it's like a heart wall right all this negative energy creates a heart wall that repels instead of attracts people Okay, so it says the time has come to clear energy and it's spring. It's the best time to clear this energy. Forgive who you have to forgive. Forget who you have to forget. <laughs> um, if persons that have hurt you, they've given you gifts and that kind of stuff, throw, throw it out. Throw it out. You've kept his t-shirt, throw it out. He has stuff by you, she has stuff by you, throw it out clear energy so that a new person can come in now it could be an ex returning so if it's an ex returning what they're asking you to do is really let go of what happened with you guys previously okay clear that energy so something new can take place and when you clear your energy what is going to happen you're going to attract love because when you clear your energy, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to be enjoying. You're going to be smelling the roses. And this is the time to smell the roses. It's spring. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So get out there. It's spring. You've spent the whole of winter cooped up somewhere. Get out there. Enjoy life. And this enjoyment and this clear in your energy is going to attract the right partner to you. And before you know it, you're enjoying holiday bliss together. Because somebody is going to come in. And it's something it's going to be something long term it's not a fly by night fling fling it's going to be something long term 
So clear your energy, get out there and enjoy life. And this is going to be coming into you. So let's find out about this person who you're supposed to be spending these blissful moments together. We're going to have a look and see the possible signs. That could be involved. One second, okay? I'm just doing a reading. I'll call you back, okay? That was actually my Reiki master. So hey, there's that. There's that. <laughs> so maybe take a Reiki session. Take a Reiki session and clear your energy. Okay. All right. So let's see um, the energy that this person is coming in with. Impossible signs. Oh wow! This is a magician. It's a Virgo. It's a Gemini. It's somebody that's. A manifester they're not afraid of using all the tools that life is providing them with in order to um, create their reality it's someone that's broken out of prison <laughs> they were trapped in some kind of situation that was restricting them before and they've now come out so they're, they're about they're ready to enjoy life so Gemini Libra Aquarius energy there What else? Hmm. And this person might have suffered some kind of financial loss or they're not feeling like if they're abundant. Taurus energy. Could be any other sign though. But usually this is a Taurus. So Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And just, and just as I thought it, Virgo. Right, so this is coming towards you. So this person, they're a manifester, and they're going to work hard at this relationship when they come in. Because they were in a situation before where they felt restricted, where they did not feel abundant. But now they're ready to offer something solid to someone. They're ready to offer something solid to the one that they love. Now this person may take their time um, making up their mind, they may, you know, be very cautious when they come towards you. They may take their time to getting to know you, but know that this person has good intentions. Their intentions towards you is solid. They are looking for something stable. Okay? It's not any wishy-washy person. They're looking for something stable. So possible signs. Definitely Virgo is featured here. Gemini. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Or it could be any earth sign. You know? Could be any earth sign. That's what's coming in. Alright? Okay, guys. So, that's a mini singles card. Let's do the mini couples now. So, couples, situationships, um, crush, where you've made contact, they know you're alive, um, married, separated, divorced, whatever it is, somebody wants to come and bring some kind of truth towards you, Leo, they want to offer you something in the material world. But they're afraid of rejection. They are afraid of rejection. Okay. So, the weather of this reading, what this reading is all about, is somebody recognizing the opportunity being presented to them by the universe in the form of you, but they're not coming forward because they're afraid of rejection. So your person, when they think about you, when they think about this connection, oh, and just remember, this is energy, right? So yes, I'm asking about how this person views you, but maybe when the cards are laid out, you realize, you know, it, this is your energy, which is good for the cross watchers, but not so good for you, right? So your person, 
How are they viewing you? How are they processing you and this connection mentally? Oh, didn't even see when those came up. Mm. They're ready to make the effort in this relationship. This is the Eight of Pentacles. They're ready to put in that hard work. Now they could also view you as being hardworking and someone that has put in the effort in this relationship already. This is an Earth sign. This is Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person, they may view you as not being single or not being confident. Oh, but I'm really feeling this is how they're feeling. They don't feel confident um, confident enough to come towards you. They don't feel like they have anything to give. They're intimidated by you. But they want to come and give you this passionate message of love though. And this is um, fire energy. Leo Sagittarius Aries. So when they think about you, they read, they're ready to express their love. They're ready to make this passionate declaration. They want to come traveling towards you and deliver this message. This is the arrows of love. So they want to talk about their love because they're feeling it. Heart space. They're only thinking about commitment. They're thinking about marriage. This is also the 11-11 card. So it might be even a twin flame relationship. Because they're being guided by a divine to offer this commitment to you. So they're thinking about this commitment here. They think this connection is a godsend. And here is Mr. Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight, but he's as solid as a rock. And you see what he has to offer? That massive, massive pentacle there? He takes his time. But when he comes in, he's sure. He's sure of what he wants. He's so sure of what he wants. This could be any other time, but this is usually a Virgo. Because you know they have to overthink everything. So when they do come, they're sure. This person in the past, I'm really getting that this is past energy, may have viewed you as an option. But they always knew that there was something special about you. They may even be evaluating their options right now, but they know that there's something special about you. They know which connection is being brought to them by God, by the divine. They know. Look at right here. They know. But yet yeah, this person, you know, they have to overthink, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. They're going to overthink about everything that's happening. They're going to explore each option in their mind. I mean, with their body, who knows, before they get to you. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. All right. So at the moment, what's blocking this connection? Somebody is refusing to transform, to change their ways completely. They're resisting this transformation. This is Scorpio energy here. The divine has come in and let them know, hey, you have to say goodbye to the old self. You can't continue as you are. You have to say that you have to, you know, kill that ego that you have. But they're resisting this right now. But they won't be able to resist this for long. This is a fated event. They have to change. What's blocking this connection? Optimism. And this is the card of the card of Leo. So it could be you, Leo, that's blocking this connection. Maybe you're not seeing the bright side of this connection. What's also what also could be blocking this connection is could be children. Maybe this person is in another commitment. And their commitments and obligations might be blocking this connection. And there is that there too. What else is blocking this connection here? Oh, yeah. 
there's lot there isn't um productive communication that's one and two people aren't using and this is Virgo again people aren't using all their skills all their tools to bring this connection together they, they, they're not putting in the full effort okay they're not putting in the full effort they're people are being manipulated they're playing mind games instead of speaking their truth and speaking their heart so that's what's holding up this connection right now what can we expect from this person by the end of may their actions towards you they want to come and make this right they know there's been some kind of injustice in the past they know that they weren't giving their full effort and they want to balance the scales between you guys so this is energy here just made a decision they're going to make a decision by the end of april by the end of may sorry why did i say april maybe they're going to make a decision by the end of april a decision about their life who they want in their life who they want to partnership with who they want to partner with they're not going to be indecisive anymore fire energy here sagittarius leo aries Here they come rushing in. Mr. Knight of Wands. The Sagittarius, the Casanova. He's gonna come in, he's coming in to make this declaration of love. But you know you have to be careful with Mr. Knight of Wands. Because Mr. Knight of Wands comes passionately riding in and goes right back goes right back out. This could be a player. This could be a player. The only thing that tells me that this may not be a player or player energy is what we saw in the heart space where we had that commitment and we had that that slow moving offer but we hit, did ha we did have that this person you know exploring their options so i'm getting the feeling this person knows that you're the one you know they know you're the one but they're still there trying to explore their options but you have to let them know that you are nobody's option You are the only option. You have to let them know that. So when he comes rushing in with his little wishy-washy energy, you need to send him right back out and let him know that you are an emperor or an empress and they must respect you. All right. So we're going to go into my divine counterpart and separation deck and get some messages. So this deck has been printed. First batch has already been shipped out to clients that ordered. So if you want your deck the next post office run is on saturday and you don't have to be particularly intuitive to use this deck right it's everybody has intuition everybody does it just doesn't have to be developed to use this deck because all the messages are quite simple you're watching off of these tarot readings anyway <laughs> okay let's see what's happening here what are their messages to you My love, we are like 69. Hmm. That might be your favorite position. Who knows? My love, you and I are like 69. Like night and day. Night and day, yin and yang. That's who we are. But in spite of these differences, I'm ready to take a chance on us. So I want to know, my love, can we work things out? Can we start something secure together? Can we have this commitment, this marriage? Can we each put, put in that equal effort, that hard work, to make this relationship work? Can we do that? Can we work things out? Will you take this leap of faith with me? Because I'm ready to take this chance. Alrighty, Leo. So that was your reading for May. Of course, I will do the mid-month uh, May readings as well. So you'll get little updates. But that's the energy for May. 
all right guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel and remember you're made to love okay nothing else okay bye